verse 1 through 11. If you got it, say, I've got it. I got it. If you look and say, I'm still looking. Okay. Amen. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 through 11. I'm reading it from the New International Version on today. It says, There was a certain man from Ramathame and Zuphite from the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Elkanah, son of Jehom, and the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zuph, and Ephraimite. He had two wives. One was called Hannah, and the other, Penaniah. Penaniah had children, but Hannah had none. Year after year, this man, up, this man went up from his town to worship and sacrifice the Lord Almighty at Shiloh, but uh, where Ho Hophni and Phinehas, the two sons of Eli, were priests of the Lord. Whenever the day came for Elkanah, Elkanah to sacrifice, he would give portions of the meat to his wife Penaniah and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah, he gave a double portion because he loved her and the Lord had closed her womb. Because the Lord had closed Hannah's womb, her rival kept provoking her in mm. order to irritate her. This went on year after year. Whenever Hannah went up to the house of the Lord, her rival provoked her till she wept and would not eat. Hmm. Her husband, Elkanah, would say to her, Hannah, why are you weeping? Why don't you eat? Why are you downhearted? Don't I mean more to you than ten sons? Hmm. Once when they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh, Hannah stood up. Now Eli the priest was sitting on his chair by the doorpost of the Lord's house. In a deep anguish, Hannah prayed the Lord, weeping bitter. Mm. And she made a vow saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life. And no razor will ever be used on his, on his head. Mm. Verse 12. And she kept on praying to the Lord. Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying in her heart. And her lips were moving. But her voice was not heard. Mm. Eli, thought, Eli thought she was drunk and said to her. How long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. Mm. 15 says. Not so, my Lord, Hannah replied. I am the woman who is deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul yeah, Lord. to the Lord. Lord. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman, for I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. Mm. Verse 17, Eli answered, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked. Of him. The word of God has been blessed. Let me pray this. Uh, see the presence of, of God. Let me pray. Father God, great God, you are worthy to be praised. There is none like you, Father. Father, as we die on this word on today, Father, Father, I pray that you would do something new in the sanctuary. Yes. Yes. Father, I pray that you would do something eyes have not seen, yes. ears have not heard, nor has it entered the heart of any man on today, Father God. Father, I pray that on today, that the day we hear your voice, we harden not our hearts, yes, but Father. to let you come in, Father. Father, we thank you that you are doing the impossible yeah, for us today, Father. Father, as we died on this word, Father, I pray that you would decrease all of me, Father, and I pray that you would increase all of you, Father. Father, I pray that I would be your conduit on today, Father God. Father, we thank you for what you are doing. We praise you for what you are doing. It's in Christ's name we pray. The church said, Amen. Amen. First Samuel, First Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 through 11. 
in my industry, the banking industry specifically, we, there is much focus, or in today, in particular, if you don't work in a bank, if you just take a look at the news, there is much, there is much focus on the stock market, yep. amen? There's much focus on the stock market. There is the Dow Jones, there is the S&P, there are Asian markets that, that they are making trillions of dollars, Brother Keith, and, and people who invest into the stock market, Brother Bush, they have the attention of that they're, if they invest into the future, that in their, in their future they will make a profit based on their investment into the stock market. In the stock market, there are uh, pastor. There is Charles Schwab. People put a lot of money in Char and Charles Schwab, hoping that their stock will will grow. Uh, in, in my and for me and my family, I just have uh, uh, retirement funds, and, and, and this I have stock in particular uh, in retirement funds. Mm -hmm. um, that is for me. They, it is being handled by some people that I would say are smarter than me. Right. Amen. Uh -huh. Because I want them to be able to make the right decisions yes. on my money based on the future. Right. Amen. Yes. Amen. But for all of us, even if your money is not invested into the stock market, uh, every action of your life, every attitude, every attitude either will either glorify God. Or it will glorify your flesh. Mm -hmm. right. It will either bring glory to God or it will bring glory to your flesh. Mm -hmm. Every, let me say it again, every investment that you make in life will either bring glory to God or it will bring glory to, to your, your flesh. flesh. Right. The story here in 1 Samuel, we have a woman named Hannah. Hannah was a shrewd investor of her Life. She, yeah. she, she, when you read yeah. the story, you understand that Hannah, mm. she made yeah. a wise investment right, that continued right, right, to right. make mm. dividends even up until today, right. encouraging us to not to hang up the towel, to keep on investing, That's because right. after a while, right. it will pay off. Yeah. Yeah. And not only will it pay off, Pastor, but it will pay off dividends. Yeah. 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 Right. Yes, Lord. Hannah, Hannah in the story, when you read this uh, particular story, Hannah is, man, uh, is married to Elkanah. And we know that Hannah is married to Elkanah first, which is her husband, because Hannah is mentioned first right. in the scripture. Mm. But the Bible also tells us what is uh, interestingly strange about this story is Hannah is married to a husband but Hannah cannot, uh, uh, Hannah cannot have children because God has closed her womb yeah, and, right. and, and, and has closed her womb. Back in the day, a, a man's uh, virility is determined, was determined by how many children a man has. Right, right. And, and the Bible tells us that Elkanah, which was her husband, because she cannot have children, mm -hmm. Elkanah marries another mm -hmm. woman named Pananiah. Uh, and what you let me let me give you a uh, a true understanding of who his second wife is, Pananiah. Pananiah, who is who is fertile, and she becomes she bears children. Hannah, Hannah, she has a heart, but she, her her womb is closed because God allowed it to be closed. Yes. But Pananiah ba bears children. And God, for his own reason, has shut down Hannah and I, uh, Hannah's womb. For his own reason. Hananiah, his second wife, is rude. Oh, she baby. is insolent. She is evil and right, she is right, mean right, spirit. Right. But, but Hannah, she is best suited for children, mm -hmm. and, but she does not have mm -hmm. any. Yeah. But Pananiah means, uh, Pananiah is a, is, a, is a, she is crude, but she has children. many children. Mm -hmm. Many. Mm -hmm. And Brother Kevin, it seems like that, if I'm telling the truth, it seems like that in today's day and age, uh, the folks who can have children by just getting ready to have children have children. Yeah. And the folks who want to have children that would be good parents cannot have right. children. That's right. People who are best suited uh, to have children don't are, are oh, always yeah. able to have yeah. children. But God has purposes for yeah. all of our lives. Right. Right. And God always.
always makes the best decisions. But the Bible says that, come on and get with me, and then we won't be here very long. Amen. Hananiah is heartbroken because she wants to give her husband children. It, it's, Kevin, it's a difficult situation, but with stop, with, despite that, her not being able to give her husband children, and her husband has married somebody else who can give him children, despite that, we see that Hannah does not walk away. She does not walk away. I, I want you to get it. And I, she, she, she has real ugly ways. She has Ugly way, ugly way. Even the name Pananiah, uh, Adventures, that's an ugly name. That's a, that's a mess. Don't, don't name your children Pan, uh, Pananiah. Uh, P Pananiah, Pananiah, please don't name your mother. That's an ugly name. Amen. <laughs> Pananiah, she is rude. She, she is ugly, Pastor. She's ugly acting. She is messy. And the Bible tells us that Hannah knows that Elkanah in his heart he loves her, but Pan and I, every day, she rubs salt in a woman's wounds and makes her cry every day. That's got to be a bad way to live. Always picking, always reminding her, you're not a woman. He loves you, but I bear his children. My Lord, my Lord. That's got to be a bad way to live. Always rubbing it in her face, mm -hmm. taunting her, rubbing it in her face, yeah. kind of teasing her. Penelope is rude. She is mean-spirited. Mm -hmm. She is cruel. She mm -hmm. is ugly acting. Yeah. She's always making head a cry. Yes, and Lord. you've got his heart, but I bear his children. That's, that's, that's got to be a difficult situation to be in because here it is, family is difficult to deal with. If I'm telling the truth about myself, family wouldn't be so hard to deal with if I didn't have to deal with people. But the fact that I have to deal with people in my family, it makes it difficult. Listen to me, if you live, never live long enough, you got a brother or a sister or you got a family member that's got something that you want and they're always rubbing it in your face. Right, 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 right. right. And the reason they rub it in your face is because they are jealous. Jealous. And the real problem in this situation between the two wives is that Elkanah loves Hannah, but Penelope is jealous. But God, for his own reasons, has closed up Hannah's womb. And, and, and in your family, they don't always wish you well because there is. In your family, think about it. If the truth be told, you ain't got to say nothing. There is. There was always some type of bitterness. Yeah. There was always some type of rancor. Yeah. There was always some type of anger. There yeah. was some type of tension. There was some type of strife. There is some 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 something that comes that is underneath the surface. That if somebody says something that has never been handled, one match will make everything yes. Yes. explode. Yes. Yes. Everything will just blow up because the truth of the matter is the root of the issue has not been handled. And so when the match, somebody takes a match and throws everything and everything blows up, family does not speak for years and, yeah. and years yeah. and years. Yeah. But the truth is, as difficult as family is, here it is, I learned this a long time ago, you don't walk out on your family.
gonna be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you got one of them, one of them is half crazy. <laughs> so you can't get around it. But even though they're crazy, brother, but you just keep on investing in them. You keep on talking to them. You keep on speaking uh, godly words of them on them. You keep taking them to church. You keep bringing them to church. Yes, Lord. Showing them what a godly example is to be. Yes. To be yes. a yes. 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 Amen. Yes, Lord. And the truth is, if you be honest with yourself, the only reason you are at church today is because somebody have prayed for, for you. you. Amen. If somebody did not pray for you, somebody yes. also brought you to yes. church. Yes. Amen. My Lord. My Lord. Yes. Mm. Right. If we look at the story, yeah. Hannah could have easily yes. walked away right. yes. from this particular situation because Pataniah is, yeah, she's messy. She, she, she's always putting salt in Hannah's room. She, uh, she is always making her cry. She is always rubbing it in. You, 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 he loves you, but I, but I, yes, I bear his children. She got Hannah feels marginalized. Hannah feels out of the loop. Pedaniah is not letting her go. And the Bible says, here it is. Here's the proof. The Bible says, year after year. But, but, but Hannah shows us how to stand up. Right, right, right. Hannah shows us how to stand up to yeah. constant ridicule right. and to not give yeah. up, Brother Joshua. Yeah. He, told, he shows us not right. to give up. Give up. Right. Brothers and sisters, it's always too soon, yeah. Brother Ryan, to give up. Right. Right. Brother Ryan, always. it's always too soon mm -hmm. to give, give up. up. Yeah. See, give see up. so somebody has given up on their marriage. Somebody my has given up on their children. Somebody has given up my on Lord. their my dreams. Lord. Yes, Lord. The, Lord. the Bible Lord. says... Year after year, year after year, after year. In there. but the Bible Hang also there. shows us that Hannah stays there in yes. spite of in spite difficulty. Of. In spite of, not not only in spite of yes. difficulty, yes. Uh, not only in spite of difficulty, yes. in spite of discouragement, right, 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 right. right. in spite of. Discouraged, but the Bible says year after year. So a year after year, but what you have to understand is every year they are making a trip to Jerusalem to make a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the Bible tells us in this particular situation, Elkanah is taking both women to make the sacrifice in Jerusalem. And, and the Bible says that this year, this particular year, when Hannah, uh, 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 Hannah gets to the temple, the Bible says that Hannah is weeping and she would not eat. And then her husband says, what, why are you sad? Why are you sad? Am I, am I not better than ten sons? Look, look at how Elkanah, look at how he loves her. Uh, despite the difficulty, despite the discouragement, despite the situation, Hannah can't see it because when you're discouraged, it disorients. Mm. When you are in a difficult situation, right. you always see the glass half empty right. instead of seeing it half full. Right. 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 The, the, the Bible says that, here it is, read it for yourself. The Bible says that he gives Pananiah. Uh, he gives uh, that he gives Pananiah his sons and daughters their portion, yes, but he gives Hannah a double portion. Amen. Ooh. Amen. Let me say it again. The Bible Amen. says that he gives Pananiah his sons and daughters their portion, but then he goes and he gives Hannah a, a double, double portion. portion. Right, right, right. So whatever, essentially, what it means is whatever he gives Pananiah, he gives Hannah a Bless double Lord. portion yeah. of what he gave Pananiah. Yeah. Right. Yes. But then the Bible says something strangely. The Bible says that Hannah does not want a double. She wants a child. Right. Mm -hmm. A son to present to her husband. Right. But, 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 but I 
imagine that on the way to the uh, to the to the temple, uh, there's some time to get there. I can only imagine two women. One got more than the other. Her Pat and I just rubbing it in her face, mm. rubbing it in her face, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, giving her a hard time, rubbing salt in, in, into a one. And, then, and the Bible tells us so that when she gets to the temple, the Bible says that Hannah is weeping and she will not eat. Yes, sir. Uh, here it is. Okay. Some of us are always looking for a way to get back at somebody who's done something to us. That's good. That's good. Here it is. There are, if we, you tell the truth about yourself, you, we, we have always, we've all been guilty in a situation in our lives mm -hmm. where we have looked for other ways to get even or to get more at somebody who has offended us. But in this, I told you, Hannah made some investments. In this particular situation, the Bible shows us, Brother Kevin, Hannah has a weapon she has not yet used a right. yeah. uh -huh. yeah. Hannah has a yes. Hannah has a weapon that she has not used on Pananiah. Yeah. If you are a believer in Christ, the only weapon that you should be using on anybody is prayer. Because when you pray to God, God will take care of you.
pray. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can read scripture. You can read Psalms 23. You can read Psalms 1. You can read all the type of scriptures and sometimes you go in a situation and it just feels like it's not enough. Right, 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 right. right. But then when, sometimes when you read in scriptures and you're communing with God, it's just that one scripture or that one word from God that gives you the encouragement that you need to keep on going. Amen. There's a scripture in Psalm 34. It says, here it is. This is from the uh, New International Version, Psalm 34. It says, I complained and God didn't do anything. Right. I prayed and God didn't come to my rescue. So I will shout in the midst of my trouble. The Bible also says, I woke up this morning with God, with Jesus on my mind. Yeah. I woke up in, with, with Jesus on my mind. Mm. The Bible says, I will bless the Lord oh. at all times in this shall continue to be in my mouth. Although what I've learned about God is sometimes Ooh. God allows you to read things and see things, but God wants to keep you right where you are for how long yes, he wants you yes, to be there yes, until right. he's ready to give you what you need. Right, 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 right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Eli, Eli, which is the priest, is criticizing this woman, Hannah, about how she's acting in the temple uh, and here's the funny thing. If you know anything about Eli, which is the priest, Eli is criticizing this woman, Hannah, for how she's praying to God, how she's acting to God, and Eli can't even take care of his own kids. Eli, let me say it again. My Eli Lord. is criticizing Hannah about right. how she's praying in the church. And Eli can't even take care of his own household. Yeah, because yeah. the Bible says that Hophi and Sin, uh, Sin yeah, Hines, son of Eli, God is, is going to kill both of them on the same, uh, same yeah. day yes, right. because God's yes, glory sir. has now left Israel. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But Eli's got the tendency, he, Eli's got the nerve to criticize how Hannah is praying to God and Eli mm, can't even take care now. of his own come on. kids. Yep. And you know what? Mm -mm, I've got to thinking about it. Let me tell the truth. That's just how some people yep. are in the church. Yep. Well, we're too easy to criticize what yeah, other people yeah, are yeah, doing. Right, right, and right, right, all right, of right, a sudden, right. they become the come morality police. When we know, we all know that you did some things in your life right, that you better not even talk about. And you want to talk about the ins and the outs of what how you supposed to do it and well, be doing and your kids are supposed to be uh -huh. doing when you forgot about the things that you used to do. Oh, yeah. Same thing. Uh -huh. and, and now we find them criticizing how other people are so, supposed to hold themselves yeah. in life. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. They used to say, if you're living in a glass house,
She stays despite the discouragement. Right. Let me say this. I know there's a, a lot going on the news about uh, uh, pro, pro, pro this and pro that. I'm going to say you have the right to do whatever God leads you to do. Yep. I'm not going to tell nobody what they should or should not right. be doing. But I, I will say this and say that because I can only speak for me is my mother could have aborted me, but I would not be here Today. preaching the gospel of Jesus praise Christ. Praise God, today. praise God. Uh, she, 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 the other piece is despite difficulty, she could have left my father, she could have left us, and we could have become a single parent household. But in spite of difficulty, in spite of discouragement, she stayed right there to make an investment in us. Make an investment in us. The, the Bible says that Eli thought Hannah was drunk because of how she praised God. Yeah. Listen, and, 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 and when you when you learn to praise God the way you praise God, listen to me say it again. When you learn to praise God the way you praise God, praise when God. you come to church, if ain't nobody else praising God, I'm you praising praise God. God. Yeah. You don't let nobody intimidate yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, how are you going to praise yeah. your God? Because you've been through enough. You, you, yes. You've been through enough in your life that God has brought you through. Yes. You've yes. been through yes. enough difficulty. Yes. You've been through enough discouragement. Yes. And God delivered you yes. every yes. time. Yes. 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 Sometimes folks say, it, 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 sometimes say, it don't take, I know it don't take all of that. But it don't take all of that for you. Yes. 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 Right. 
But something that I see in her saw in the text is when Hannah prayed for a son, the Bible says that she gave that son back to the church. And what, said, what Hannah was in, in doing as she was investing into her son, what she was essentially doing, she was making sure that Samuel's heroes were the priests and the people in the church. Amen. She made sure that that child's heroes were the priests and the people the in the church. Made sure that the influencers of that child were the people the in the church. Mother or father, bring your children to church so that people can help you raise your children. Exposed to heroes yeah. in the church. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Lord, Bring your daughter to church. Bring your son to church. Bring them around people who can help them to be better people in the kingdom of God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Preach. Keep on investing in your children. Keep on uh, investing in your children. Keep on investing in your children. Keep on investing in your children. Keep on bringing your children to church because you never know. Here it is. You never know. Here it is. You never know who's watching you. Mm. You never know who's watching you. That's good. I was, talking, I was on Facebook, and uh, I don't really post on Facebook, but it was a young man who graduated from college. I've known him his entire life. He graduated from college. And there's another young man who, uh, he recently got out of prison, but he left, and he went away for some time, and he came back, and he found me. He's found me on uh, Facebook. He says, hey. I know it's been a while since we talked, but I just want to tell you the positive influence that you had on my life. I know I didn't stay where I needed to be, but you were one of the most influential people in Praise my God. life. And now that I've come back, I see how you're living, and I want to get my life together. right. That God hears you. Yeah. Even for people who don't have children at the time, yeah. keep living a godly example because you people never know. Yep. Who's watching? Who's watching? Yep. And, and here it is. For for people who who cannot bear children at all, you don't have to be a mother to raise children. That's right. That's right. That's right. The, the other day I said, hey Amari, um, where'd you get that from? She said, Grandma. I said, Oh geez, you got that for you? She said, No. My other grandma got the phone. I said, what other grandma? She said, Sister Covies. <laughs> Keep on 
investing. Keep on investing. Keep on investing. It will bring dividends. It, it, it will bring big payouts. Keep on investing. Keep on putting into the church. Keep on putting into the children. Keep on putting into whatever God has called you to do. Right. Keep on putting into whatever God has called you to be right. because it will bring back dividends. Yeah. Everybody should like dividends because it's a payback yeah. for what you <laughs> Let me pray. Father God, we thank you for your word, Father. We thank yes, you for your spirit, Lord. Father. Yes. Father, we thank you that you give us the ability, to, Father, to, to know you in a better way. Yes, God. Day, Father God. Father, I pray that there is someone under the sound of my voice that does not know you. Father, I pray that they will come to know you in a better way on today, Father God. Father, we thank you that you are God of the impossible, Father God. Yeah. Father, we thank you that you can do exceedingly, abundantly more than we can ask or even think, Father. Father, I pray that in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you would continue to bless your people, Father. Yeah, Father, as a church, Father, I pray that you continue to bless us spiritually, physically, and financially. Yes, God. Father, I thank you that you are sending people here, Father, children, and workers, and volunteers, Father God. Father, I thank you that you are working everything out, Father God. Yes. Father, I thank you that there is no lack, Father God. Father, we also thank you for the pastors of this church, Father. Father, we pray that you would strengthen and encourage God and direct them, Father. Father, we thank you that you are filling their cups, Father God. Father, we thank you for what you are doing. We praise you for what you are doing. And it's in Christ's name we pray.